Hey guys, I'm back with more eyeglass reviews. So, uh, in this video, I'm not going to cover any websites I haven't covered before, but I'm going to show you some new orders from websites that uh, I've showed you before. Um, first of all, <clears throat> I can't remember if I mentioned it in the last video or not, uh, but I started a Facebook group for people who are interested or obsessed with uh, buying designer eyewear, prescription eyewear online for cheap, you know, the various import websites and Zenny and things like that. It's called Affordable Eyewear Addicts or Affordable Eyeglasses Addicts. If you type either one into Facebook, uh, you can join. And um, I'm going to put the link in the video description. Uh, we've got a lot of traffic there. It's been very popular. We've been uh, sharing a lot of new stuff, been learning about a lot of new websites. Um, some There's even a couple companies that have been offering discounts specifically for the group. Um, it's been really great and I hope to see you there. Um, <clears throat> so, these vlogs are about my experiences buying glasses mostly online, uh, some offline, and most of it are the you know the low budget websites for kind of cool and flashy stuff. Uh, if you've been watching up till now you'll know that. Uh, so here are the caveats I try to give every video. Uh, first of all, um, Again, all my glasses are prescription. All my lenses have transitions or photochromic, whatever it's called, uh, and anti-glare. So factor that into the prices. I use coupon codes and browser extensions that give me coupon codes and discounts on all my purchases. So factor that into the prices. Vlog number four has a quick demonstration of how I do that. Um, what else? I'm a big-headed guy, so again, all these frames are going to look smaller on me than they might on you if you're not a big-headed guy. I'm a big guy in general, uh, 6'2", 250 pounds, um, just giant head. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, keep those all those things in mind. Uh, I'm not going to give individual frame uh, model numbers and names, but if you're interested and you want one, <coughs> excuse me, if you're interested and you want one, just comment and I'll give you that. Okay, so first and foremost, let's... Um, okay, so these, just for the reference, for like a palette cleanser, these are my old Ralph Lauren frames that I've had for years and you see in a lot of my videos before I got into glasses. Okay, so that's the standard. And these are... Do I have the measurements on here? 52, 17, 140. Okay, so I got... At least two new pairs from Goggles for You since the last video. The thing about Goggles for You is most of the ones I like there are the same shape, just different colors. These are the same shape, but they're white and blue. You can see they have those uh, blue kind of splotchy patterns on the side, and they're white on the front. So just kind of a fun thing to wear with like a light colored blue outfit. Again, Goggles for You is the cheapest I've tried, and they're also the cheapest in quality, at least the frames. The lenses, um, lenses seem fine, but the frames are uh, very, very flimsy. Haven't had any broken yet, so I don't think it's like poor quality in terms of like <clears throat> takes away from from using them or wearing them. But they just feel cheaper. So, and if you look really close, they look cheaper. But from a distance, they look nice. This is the exact same frame I got before, but I got it in a different color. I don't know if you can see on the camera. These are like black with purple tortoise. Measurements are 53, 18, 145. I don't think I gave you the measurements on the white ones. I'm sure they're the same because all these frames are basically the same. Let's see if they got them on here. 55, 22, 140. I spoke too soon. They're not the same. Okay. I got my uh, second two orders from Zlul since the last time I ordered from them. Uh, they take a while. They're another one of those uh, Chinese factories that ships with China Post, which takes longer than when they uh, cart it to the U.S. and ship that way. Um, I believe they're the same company uh, as uh, Vugumi. If they're not, then they buy frames from the same sources and use the same shipping methods. But I think it's just the same company under two different names. So you've probably seen these in my pictures by now or in my videos if you follow my music videos. Clear frames with colorful sides, aren't they cool? Oh, I forgot to mention prices. Uh, again, I've ordered from all these sites before. <coughs> um, 
Goggles for you is the cheapest in price, and I usually end up getting the glasses from them, lenses, frames, everything, shipping. They usually end up working out to like $25 to $30 a pair. Um, Fermu and Vogelmi are a little more expensive. They're more like $40 to $50 a pair, but the quality is better. Goggles for you generally, uh, when, when it's not Chinese New Year and coronavirus and all that, uh, usually those come in uh, within a couple weeks. Um, these are 50, 21, 143. By the way, if you have ordered from any of these companies recently, uh, the shipping's been delayed by weeks and months, first because of Chinese New Year and then because of the coronavirus. After that, a lot of the factories are shut down. So be patient if you order recently. Uh, that's not a normal thing. Normally, the ones that use China Post take anywhere from two weeks to two months to get there, and the ones that use USPS are usually between one and three weeks. You've seen these before in a different color. I ordered them again in blue. Uh, I thought that they were the least comfortable frames that I own, but then uh, one of my friends that uh, works in eyewear adjusted them for me, and they're actually a lot more comfortable once they've been adjusted. So I'm going to have him adjust these two. He adjusted the brown ones. These are 48, 22, 145. These just came in today. They were one of the orders I was waiting on before I did this video. These are also from Zilul. Just kind of another kind of cool, different shaped black frames. Fifty six, eighteen, one forty five, and again, these are all like thirty, forty dollars a pair. I think is what I said. If you want specifics, I can give you specifics. There is some variance, but they're you know, like I said, Zilu and Vogelme are around anywhere from thirty to fifty, I think, depending on the coupon codes and you know how many I'm ordering. Another kind of cool, different pair that I got from Zilu. I don't really need more tortoise. I have enough tortoise, but I thought these looked so cool in the tortoise, I couldn't help myself. I may get them in the black as well. 53, 23, 143. Yeah, these are definitely really cool. Okay, so that's it for Zilul. You know what? Let's skip ahead and do Vogelme next, since I'm pretty sure they're the same company. And then we'll go back to Zenny and the other ones. Um... I, th I can't remember now if I showed these in my Zenny video. Maybe I did. I'll just do a quick show in case I didn't. I can't remember now. I thought I checked. Um, but uh, these are a black and white tortoise from Vogelme. And uh, I like them so much I ordered them in the black and white ones as well. They're not in yet. 53, <coughs> These other two you've seen before in different colors, but I liked them so much I ordered them. I had these in the brown, and they call it tawny, kind of a light brown, amber colored. And I liked them so much I got them in the black. 54, 24, 145. Again, you know, roughly between 40 and $50 a pair, I think is what I said. But, but Vogelme takes the longest. These I had in brown with like pink sides before, and these are kind of a light brown tortoise. I'm a little disappointed because I thought they were going to be another black and white tortoise and I needed more black and white. Um, and uh, when I got them, it turns out they're not black and white. They're like a light brown and tan. Um, I mean, I still like them. I don't know what color they're coming across in the camera. Seems like that camera color's a little off. I'm just gonna put something that's a different color up to the camera to see if it adjusts. Could just be the viewfinder. No, I guess that's the color it is. Now it doesn't know how to find my face. So there it is. Find my face. So. Yep, that's Vogel Me. Now, two more orders coming from Vogelme. I'm done with goggles for you for now. Oh, I skipped Zenny. Um, I'm done with goggles for you for now. If they get some new stuff, maybe I'll get some more. Um, I got, I'll got. i do a Zilu order in the future, I think. Uh, I've got two more orders coming from Vogelme. <coughs> one is the black and white ones we talked about, and the other one is just some new stuff that came in. And then I'm waiting on some other stuff to come back in stock. 
So here's my other Zenny order, and I think I'm done with Zenny for a while. Again, I needed more black and white, so these are black with some white accents. Zenny tends to be the most plain, I think, um, or at least the least bold. Uh, some of the stuff from Goggles for You, you could argue, is more plain, but it's also bigger and bolder. So, Zenny with, there's no measurements on these. Oh, but yeah, with the Zenny ones, I'm able to put my name on them or my insignia. Um, yeah, Zenny uh, tends to be, I think, around 30 to 40 bucks a pair. They're not quite as cheap as goggles for you, but they're pretty cheap, even with all the lens accoutrement. These I had in black and white, and I liked them so much that I got them in uh, tan and brown, the color that the octagons are, which again I thought was going to be black and white, so it's interesting that I did that. I probably didn't need both. Um, but they're nice. A little bit less flashy. My insignia is on them as well. Not sure if you can see it. Like I said, I'm probably done with Zenny for a while. <clears throat> Wear light, I have another order coming from them. But in my first order, I had the blue and the red ones that were this shape. And I liked them so much, I went back and I got the black and the tortoise, even though I didn't necessarily need more black and tortoise at the time. But I just liked them so much, I said, let's get them. And Wear light's very cheap. With the coupons and things, I think I end up getting them for around 30 bucks a pair. 55, 22, 145. Same ones in Tortoise. And they're just really cool. The way the color fades on those is just really nice. Obviously the same measurements since they're in the same frame. So I got these in the pink last time and I got them in black. I still don't think I like the shape. I just really like the temple, so I really wanted to like the shape. But I just don't think I like a uh, cat eye shape on me. But I wanted to try them just because I really like those temples. I was still, I'm debating, and I'll show you if I do it, I was debating on taking the temples off of these and putting them on these. But they're a little thicker. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I just don't like the cat eye shape. But again, I like these temples so much, that's why I bought them. I thought I might eventually like them. Measurements are 139, 140. It doesn't have the nose measurement. Interesting. I don't normally like aviators, but these are super cool. Also from Wearlight. Again, I'm just trying different stuff because at these prices you can afford to. And I don't normally like aviators, but I do like these. The gray. 55, 22, 145. Lastly, I got most of my V-glasses order in today. <clears throat> I placed another V-glasses order almost right away because they had a black sparkle pair that I really wanted and would have gone with a lot of my outfits very well. So I placed an order and I ordered some other stuff with it. And then they emailed me and said, hey, we're out of that black sparkle pair that you wanted, but we'll send you the rest of it. And I was like, oh, but that's the reason I ordered was the black sparkle pair. But here's the rest of it. First of all, you may have seen this frames in my previous order. It was my favorite from the previous order, and I liked it so much I got it in another color. The previous ones were, I think, black with silver on the front. These are clear with black on the front. <coughs> These are from V Glasses. V glasses is also pretty cheap. I think they end up being between thirty and forty dollars a pair. The most expensive site that I've dealt with of the cheap sites is Firmu, and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna order from them again. They're like sixty bucks a pair, and then after that it would be Vogelme and uh, Zeal, and then all the other ones except for Goggles for You. And then Goggles for You is the cheapest. So speaking of ones that I liked. I had these in black, and I wanted to see if I liked the shape, and I did. So I got them in the kind of clearish gray. Somebody else said they look like a scuba mask, which is true. And I also got them in the green, because I think it'll be my first pair of green glasses. 
I don't normally like wearing green, and I can't tell you why. I do not have a lot of green in my outfit, but now, if I do end up wearing green, I have at least one pair of green glasses. I wanted to see how much I like the octagons. I got them in the orange, so I got them again in the blue. That hinge is a little stiff. Turns out I do like them quite a bit. Now you may remember in my last order, I had one pair where the lenses were defective. Turns out there was nothing wrong with my prescription. It was just a bad piece of plastic, like there was imperfections in the plastic. They remade them to me and then shipped my whole remake order, uh, UPS Air, and which was very kind of them. I didn't need that. I didn't need them in a hurry. But they remade them and now they're perfect. Okay, so now for the two that I'm on the fence on. I needed more black and white, and I got these. They're a very interesting shape. I'm just not sure how much I like it. You guys tell me what you think. Again, I'm going for weird and bold, so it's not like, you know. But you tell me what you think. Oh, I've been forgetting to give you measurements. Well, that's because they don't have any. Oh, problem solved. Any of these have measurements? The octagons do 52, 21, 139. Do, do, do the scubas. Let's see if the scubas have measurements. <clears throat> 58, 13, 145. Sorry about that. Fifty four twenty one forty. At some point I stopped paying close attention to the measurements and just started getting stuff that was large. And I've had better luck that way than paying close attention to the measurements. 55, 22, 145. These didn't have them unless they hid them covertly. Nope. So these are the last ones I'm on the fence about. I knew I'd be on the fence about these. I'm just not sure how I feel about the shape. I wanted some more red. I wanted weird shapes. Again, I think I feel like they're too close to cat eye. But, um, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. If you like them, then I'll wear them. And if not, I'll probably get them in the octagons instead. Okay. So that's it for this order. I'm going to do an updated order video for a couple of the uh, name brand things. And then uh, when I when my next... Uh, I've got another wear light order. I have another... V glasses order. No, well, they're just going to ship that replacement. And Vogel me. So when my other orders come in, I'll do more videos. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Again, join the Facebook group. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I hope these videos are helpful. I hope they're encouraging to other people that are interested in buying cheap eyewear online and trying some new and different and bolder things. Um, and I look forward to your comments. Thanks for watching.